Now, they're among our most endearing wildlife creatures, the subject of our favourite children's stories, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But red squirrels have had a tough time of it over the years. Yes, indeed, competition from their brash American cousins and the loss of their natural habitat means they had to retreat to some of the most remote parts of our countryside. But... Hopefully that could soon change. Hopefully, because steps are being taken to reintroduce them to parts of the southeast, thanks to the Wildlife Trust, which is this weekend releasing a group of them in a specially designed enclosure at Hearn Bay. Andy Dickinson takes up the story. There was a time when they were a mainstay of the Kent countryside, the native acrobats of our trees before their North American cousins invaded. Driving the red squirrel to extinction in our region in the 1960s, this open-air enclosure about to help them fight back. This fantastic enclosure is going to allow to see red squirrels like our parents did. They're going to be running around here. They'll even jump on some of the keeper's shoulders because they real, they're really cute. But it's going to take a long time. It'll take many months for them to get to that stage. But that, it's hoped, is just the beginning. The plan to use this open-air pen as the starting point, not just for the repopulation of the red squirrel, but other species as well. Across large landscapes, we would love to see species like red squirrel reintroduced, brought back. One of the long-term ways in which we'd like to bring those red squirrels back to the wider landscape is to look at pine martins as a tool um, to essentially look at grey squirrel population numbers. So the pine martins will reduce those and enable red squirrels potentially to reach that point where they could then come back. In this enclosure behind me, there's now three red squirrels, but of course, this being television, they're not going to play ball and show their faces. They will, however, be released tomorrow. It will take them around two months to get accustomed to the environment and visitors. Yet here's some we filmed earlier, giving a brief preview of what those visitors will see. While I've been devastated in Kent, we've lost so much but we can return them. And getting our woodlands into the right shape to return red squirrels means it's so much other wildlife can live, it can thrive. Where pine martens have returned, all the red squirrels have come back. And this is a thing we must understand. We can have wildlife back if we put the effort in. If all goes well, the humble red squirrel could be found scampering through our trees once again within a decade. Andy Dickinson, ITV News, Hearn Bay.